I'm Pilot. I'm the governor. Get up and look at me when I'm talking to you. They brought Jesus to me after they arrested him in that garden. I had him stand before me just like you are now. I asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And he gave me a sarcastic answer. Something about me saying that he was the king. So I asked him again who he claimed he was. And even though everyone was mocking him and ridiculing him, this Jesus just stood there and wouldn't answer me. Can you believe it? He wouldn't answer me, the governor. It was crazy. He seemed crazy. I was frustrated and amazed. The people just wanted him dead. And he wouldn't say anything to defend himself. So I decided to do what I do every year at the Passover. I release one prisoner to go free. Makes me look pretty good, you know? So anyway, I hauled this Barabbas out of prison. He was a real dirtbag, murderer. I stood Barabbas beside Jesus, asked the people who they wanted released, and they all yelled, Barabbas. Can you believe it? Well, can you? Look at me when I'm talking to you. The people wanted this murderer to go free instead of this meek little man named Jesus. So I did what they wanted. I released Barabbas. Then I asked the people what they wanted me to do with this Jesus. And they yelled, crucify him. They told me they wanted me to kill him using this horrible means of capital punishment. You hang someone on a post for days and days until they die. It's humiliating and it's ugly. The soldiers have to pound nails through their hands and feet to hold them up on the post. Sometimes we use a cross. That's what we do with Jesus. Actually, the person hanging there dies by suffocation. Did you hear me? I said they suffocate because the way they hang collapses their lungs. Sometimes we even hang them upside down. Then all the blood rushes to their head. It's not a pretty story. But remember, you came to see me. So I'm telling you the way it really was. Don't you understand? I had no choice. I had Jesus flogged, because everyone loves a good flogging. Then I turned him over to the crowd and let them crucify him. I washed my hands of the whole situation. I really wanted no part of it. Now, go away. Leave me alone. I'm Pilate. I'm the governor. I have bigger things to do than sit around here and talk to you choir, you children.
The Lamb of God, the Word made flesh, the Savior of the world, was hung on a cross to die. And then to be sure that he was dead, the soldiers came and pierced his side with a sword. People had come to this hill called Golgotha to witness his death. People mocked Jesus on that cross. People asked him to come down and save himself if he really was the savior of the world, if he really was a king. Soldiers even cast coins for his clothing. It was a very sad day. Death brings sadness into our hearts, all of our hearts. Our hope on this day our hope on this day of Jesus' crucifixion is that he truly did love each one of us. I know that this morning isn't turning out quite the way it started, is it? Remember when we got here this morning, we were all excited. And we were going to go to see a parade and a big celebration, and we were very happy. Remember how happy our hearts were as we awaited Jesus' arrival in the city of Jerusalem. But now, we've seen him die on a cross. Come here, I want to show you something. That is a tooth. After Jesus died on the cross, a man named Joseph, a man from Arimathea, went to Pontius Pilate and asked him if he could have Jesus' body. And, and Pontius said that he certainly could. So Joseph took the body and placed it in this tomb. It was actually a tomb that Joseph had prepared for, his own, for himself. I am Joseph. My friend is dead. I can't believe they killed him. He didn't do anything wrong. He was a good man. He loved everyone, and I pray that Jesus will remember all of us in his kingdom.
The holy day begins at sundown, so I wanted to be sure that Jesus' body was buried before that, according to our religious laws. But now I'm tired. I'm sad. I'm even mad, and I'm scared. They just killed Jesus. Do you understand me? He's dead. I need to be alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs>